there are an enormous number of police officers in our country that perform honorably every single day they put themselves in harm's way they connect with the communities they are sworn to protect and we should show them all the respect that they have earned and deserve but we have problems in our criminal justice system in a lot of places that we can't ignore that that as i said was very tame by her standards she's talked about how police in cases that have been adjudicated where cops have been cleared one in particular she travels around with a bunch of mothers whose children died the, the woman who hanged herself in texas blaming that on the police another instance that the cop was cleared she says the cop beat him and then shot him when that's been adjudicated so she's running hard against the police you know i i find it pretty upsetting uh, especially given today today's March 2nd, March 2nd uh, last year, no cops had been shot and killed up until this day last year. This year, 12. 12 cops have been shot and killed in the line of duty. A number of others have been killed in the line of duty. There's no outrage, um, no comments by Ms. Clinton, no comments by the administration, no comments by anyone. It's a 1,200% increase if you really want to put it in perspective than last year and nobody saying a word. Why is that? And you know, if there was another Michael Brown incident tomorrow, she'd be all over it and Obama would be out there. Well, I, you know what, I, I, can't, I can't answer for them. What, what I can say is that there is this, this constant anti-cop rhetoric around the country that I believe, I strongly believe, and I, and I believe what the FBI director believes, is that they are, that anti-cop rhetoric is is creating a lot of this uh, a lot of this activity out there responsible for the, some deaths and responsible yeah. for some of these deaths